What is a conspiracy theory you believe 100%? Pablo Escobar worked with the CIA. They were involved in the drug trade. This is confirmed by his son. Their reason of working together was the fight against communism in Central America. They were working together in sales and importing sea to the states. The CIA's role was exposed in 1996 in an investigative series Dark Alliance by Gary Webb for the San Jose Mercury News. The investigation, headed up by Webb revealed ties between the CIA, Nicaragua Contras and the Craxy ravaging African, American communities. This investigation severely damaged the intelligence agency's reputation and launched a number of federal investigations. Things didn't end well for Webb. Major media led by the New York Times, Washington Post and Los Angeles Times worked to discredit his story, and he lost his work, and died in 2004 from an apparent suicide. Officials would later come forward to back Webb's original investigation up. Senator John Kerry even released a detailed report claiming not only was there considerable evidence linking the Contra effort to trafficking of drugs and weapons but that the US government knew about IT that there's a serial killer in Boston, too many young men disappearing and then eventually end up in the water. Even though there haven't really been any genuine accusations made against him outside of occasionally serious speculation on Reddit and 4chan, I'll admit that I do think there is something fishy going on with Dan Schneider. I'm still convinced StubHub has backdoors into Ticketmaster. Front row seats to sold out in minutes concerts appear on websites awfully early. It's not StubHub but it is the power sellers never buyers, they get preferential treatment from both companies, like early tickets and discounted fees, that's just business. Crime in Las Vegas is systematically underreported in order not to hurt business. That's probably true, same with suicide and certain college campuses to avoid a bad reputation. I bet that the thylacine, Tasmanian Tasmanian Tiger, still lives in the rural parts of the outback. It officially went extinct in the early 1900s, but there is some evidence that the Australian government moved a small population to the mainland before the Tasmanian population died off. There is also good reason to hide this fact. Back in the early 1900s it would have really pee off farmers, and made the government liable for damages. It would also encourage said farmers to hunt or trap them. Today they have even more reason to keep the beauties secret since a public discovery would open them up to poaching and demands for biological samples, zoo specimens, etc. So their best bet is to just keep them a secret. Locals claim to have caught glimpses, found weird scats, even taken an odd picture or two. But the outback is so incredibly desolate, there is plenty of room for a small population of these reclusive animals to hide. After all this is literally their niche where they survived for millennia. It isn't like they don't fit the environment. It is so common for biologists to find living examples of animals thought to be extinct. I'd hope the thylacine is still hanging around. Certainly it is the most likely of the cryptids. Even if it is not, the thylacine is apparently one of the first applicants to be brought back from extinction via cloning and changing the makeup of embryos. The others are the woolly mammoth and the passenger pigeon. Erdogan staged the 2016 coup. 100% certain it was staged. If the military had actually wanted him dead, they would have known he was out of the area when they attacked. Marilyn Monroe didn't commit suicide. There is lady that come to my store and tells us she helped kill Monroe and JFK. She is freaking insane but I love talking to her. The cherry on top is she can't be more than 26 years old. That restaurants don't actually have Heinz ketchup but instead just refill the bottles with other shittier ketchup. I used to work in a restaurant. While we did refill the bottles, we filled them up again with Heinz ketchup that came out of a giant tub. Something about it being cheaper buying in massive quantities. So one stroke two parts correct. People mispronounce words on YouTube videos to increase popularity. 1. Get a bunch of comments about mispronounced word. 2. All the comments make YouTube think the video is more popular, so it pushes it higher in the search results and recommendations. 3. That causes to get even more views, and more comments about the word, which cycles back into itself. Not sure if a conspiracy theory, but I've always believed when there are basically only two mainstream options, i.e. Coke and Pepsi, Microsoft and Apple, etc., that they're secretly working together. 
since being a monopoly can carry legal issues, but nobody suspects anything if you've got healthy competition. So they just agree under the table to split the market and make sure there aren't any other competitors. Samsung and Apple. They sue each other every single day, yet work together. That is Samsung literally manufactures the OLED iPhone X screens. That Snapchat filters exist to create a database of people's faces even if they are in disguise. The filter is applied locally, but the unfiltered pic goes straight to their servers. That the most ridiculous conspiracies are made up to discredit more plausible and possibly true ones. That Alex Jones is a sire plant that distracts people with tales of wild conspiracy BS when mundane conspiracies of people with vested interests in protecting their wealth are indeed real. I have this theory that Rob Kardashian is still fat because his sisters need his fat for their constant fat transfers. They probably give him hefty allowances. That the complete lack of proper political discussion nowadays and extreme polarization is done on purpose to keep the people fighting each other instead of actually moving forward and realizing that we are losing more freedom every day that passes. I believe that weekly conspiracy threads are started on our ask reddit by the NBA to shame Michael Jordan over gambling. Conspiraception. Someone knows what happened to Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. I refuse to believe that nothing came up with modern technology, the huge search teams, and the time spent looking for its remains. I want to know. This was all over non-stop and then complete silence, which in itself is suspect. That there are mountain lions living wild in the forests on the east coast states but for some reason the government won't officially acknowledge them. I have just read too many stories of hunters, hikers, and farmers who have seen them. One theory I saw was that the government doesn't want people to try and hunt them so act like they aren't there. Women's small pockets in the purse industry. I firmly believe that Zuck knew about it and did nothing. I believe that Petra is funded by the meat industry to make animal activists look like idiots. I must say as a vegan Petra does make us look bad and lately they've done way more harm than good. There are people who spread intentionally fake and outrageous conspiracy theories just to make the real ones sound dumb. Usuji Kenshin, a Japanese daimyo, warlord, and one of the most powerful and cunning generals of his time, so much so, that he was a considered an avatar of the god of war, was actually a woman. Let's look at some evidence that supports this. One Kenshin had severe stomach cramps on a monthly basis, around the 10th of the month. He actually scheduled his military campaigns around this. Two Kenshin's cause of death is recorded as a form of uterine cancer, by a doctor who made virtually no mistakes in the rest of the book that it's written in. 3. When the Usuji were forced to relocate, they repeatedly took Kenshin's remains with them, and refused to tell even the Shogun where he was interred. This rules out DNA testing. 4. Kenshin's personal tastes and appearance were consistently described in feminine terms, which, given the extreme subtleties of Japanese, is actually a bigger deal than it might seem. 5. Kenshin was the only man allowed by the Shogun to wander among his harem. 6. Kenshin never married and never had children, although he did adopt. 7. He was described as beautiful with a very pale face and small features. Now the source for this theory is a pretty crazy historian. Forgot his name. But I believe it and it's pretty interesting to think about. The richest people in the world aren't interested in waving their dongs around the Forbes list. They don't want people to know how much money they have. Furthermore everyone knows the most effective way to make money is to start with money, invest, and compound over time. Therefore the richest people would not be entrepreneurs that started a company 20 years ago. They would be families that became wealthy a long time ago. Say shortly after Napoleon's defeat. I would be surprised if the anti-computer virus companies didn't create the viruses themselves. Think about it. Perfect crime. Usually it's people who work for those companies, but do it for a challenge or extra money, as opposed to bring in business for the AV section. The same skills to create a cheat are used to reverse it. Lee Harvey Oswald was not acting alone when he killed JFK. I think he was the only one to shoot JFK, but I believe he had support. Maybe JFK's head just did that. 
that Facebook is collecting microphone data to advertise to us. It's a theory I've seen people mention several times and I always just brushed it off. I work in the tech industry and have learned most people aren't even all that aware of what they're doing on their own computers. I always assumed the suspicious advertising was coming from search history or cookies embedded in people's devices. I was over at a friend's house and I mentioned my throat was sore and I might be coming down with something. She had just been given a large box of MNC vitamin juice powder packets. We had a lengthy conversation about the packets and how she got them. But until that moment it was a product I had never seen or heard of before. My phone was definitely on and in my hands during the conversation. I was sending information of where to meet up with someone for the next day. That conversation was over messenger. I definitely didn't do any additional research into the emergency packets. By the time I got home that night, and for roughly 3 days afterwards, emergency packets were heavily advertised to me over Facebook. I haven't really seen them since, but they were certainly prevalent for a short period of time immediately after the verbal conversation. The Pope before this one was going to be brought up on perversion charges and they made him a deal where he would resign and remain sequestered in the Vatican. That the Denver airport has a secret underground government facility. The promoter of the local comic con is trying to get rid of the loyal guests cosplayers by selling fewer and fewer 3 day passes. This con is held 3 times a year, in April, August, and December. It's this weekend, in fact. They max out the building fire code capacity every time, but the promoter has a great deal with the convention center, including exclusive rights to comic con held there so he won't move it to the big center downtown. Because they can't get any more people in the door, he's been trying to make more money by screwing with the tickets and with the vendors. First, he eliminated the second badge from vendor table purchases. If you have a helper, they have to buy a second vendor pass. It costs more than a 3-day guest pass, so a lot of vendors buy their assistance the 3-day, although they can get in trouble for that, and the helper can't go to set up on Thursday, next, he did away with reduced price passes for the big groups like the 501st, which is the largest Star Wars club in the world and used to volunteer to help run the con. They left after he tried to get them to sign an agreement that they wouldn't go to any other cons, which, as a 501c3 charity they aren't allowed to do. Now I think he's trying to maximize ticket sales by cutting 3-day passes. They sell out earlier every con so only single day passes are available. Instead of a $38 three day, you have to buy three $19 one day passes, or not go all three days. What he wants is for people to buy a one day pass, come in for three hours, spend their money, then leave. He doesn't make as much money off us bums that go for the whole weekend. And since I was thrown out in December, I won't be giving him any money this time. I don't have any real proof this is what's happening, it seems very likely, and he kind of showed his hand while kicking me out. I believe you. This sounds like very crappy behavior but I've seen it a lot with music venues and concerts. The war on drugs is funded and intended to by the US government in order to reinforce poverty of the lower classes and to keep the private prisons running. You know how when you pull out a Kleenex to blow your nose and that dusty crap comes out with it? I believe it's in there intentionally so that it keeps you sneezing so you need more Kleenex. Also, Courage the cowardly dog doesn't encounter monsters. He is just a small dog that gets frightened easily by anyone because he never sees other people because his owners are too old to take him for walks. Which is why he lives in the middle of nowhere. Stupid dog. You made me look bad. I never heard anyone else claim this, it's just something I personally believe but can't prove. It's not as obvious anymore, but 10-15 years ago, most electric hybrid cars looked far less appealing than regular ones. For the longest time, the automotive industry just generally refused to produce electric hybrid cars. When public demand started to increase so much that they could no longer ignore it, they released some hybrids but deliberately designed them to look as unappealing as possible to keep sales low and their friends in the fossil fuel industry happy. Then Tesla broke the silent agreement and made electric cars cool and suddenly other automotive companies can release normal looking electric hybrid cars too. Not sure if it counts as a conspiracy but when I was 15 me and some friends were walking to a house party at a barn of another mates in the countryside and near a large military airbase in Lynham. 
UK. We had a couple of drinks by then but were no strangers to a skinful so wasn't as if we were too out of it to know what was happening. Anyway as we were walking up a country road with only one cottage in sight I noticed a triangular black silau head in the sky. It was dusk so pretty visible. It had a light on each point and was moving faulty slowly away from us but rotating slowly at the same time. As I pointed up to it a bit freak to my two friends Dean and Slade it literally stopped dead and without turning in an arc it came straight back at us at at least double the speed. We immediately ran to the cottage about 50 yards away literally screaming for help. We banged on the door shouting and as the owner answered we turned around pointing and screaming at what we seen and it was gone. A whole clear sky and the countryside barely any clouds and gone. Now I'm not saying it was extraterrestrial as there are a lot of their bases in the area so could have been experimental military craft but dang it was the scariest experience of my life. Believe it or not but I promise you it happened and other people have seen similar things in the area. I'm from the UK. Not the first time I've heard a story like this happening in Lynham. Something is going on there. That mattress stores, mainly mattress firm, are the new laundromats and money laundering. There are so many of them sometimes right next to each other on the same street, and they are always empty. Sometimes the upkeep on the actual stores are awful too. How do they manage to stay open? and open so many of them when people rarely buy mattresses and the stores themselves are always empty. I first saw this theory on YouTube and it seems that someone on Reddit brought it up explained it before. The earth is flat. I mean, come on, you'd have to be an idiot to think it's still fizzy after being outside all this time. I rolled my eyes, then laughed. Well done. The sugar industry bought out continues to buy out scientists to either straight up state fat is the cause of the obesity epidemic or at least create a confusing atmosphere where consumers buy healthy reduced fat food that are pumped up with sugar. Which is the real problem. I think someday the sugar industry will be seen as a just as bad but more successful tobacco industry. Who wants to be a millionaire old format with Regis? 50 stroke 50 lifeline was rigged. If contestants said they had it down to two answers, the 50 stroke 50 would always leave those two answers left. Bill Gates wants us to think he's eradicating malaria, but he'll get down to his last 10 or 11 cases before admitting he can't remove them without administrator privileges and we've all just been wasting our time staring at a stupid progress bar. They banned outside liquids from airports so they could sell more liquids inside. Airport security is well known Theatrix anyways, so this is perfectly plausible. That someone couldn't fill enough 3 ounces bottles with liquid to create a viable chemical weapon or explosive is hilarious to consider. <laughs> FBI and the NSA are spying on us using Amazon Alexa and Google Home. JFK was assassinated by the CIA. They subsequently were not going to let his brother, who was a shoe in for the presidency, at least the Democratic primary, to win and find out so they either got a Palestinian Christian to kill him, or framed it on him. I believe Sir and Sir and denies it to this day. And Martin Luther King Jr. was also assassinated by either the CIA or the FBI. At the time of his death he was becoming a vocal critic of the Vietnam War and was beginning to work on a poor people's march for economic justice. In fact I think he was in Memphis to show solidarity to sanitation workers on strike. I think everyone knows MLK Jr. was assassinated. That potato chip bags aren't 60% air to protect them during shipping. The manufacturers are lowering the quantity of the product so they can still compete on price. That all the celebrity nonsense is a carefully cultivated distraction from what's actually going on. It distract the hoi polloi from corruption etc with the fact that some ahead in love put on a different hat. Orwell was right about so much. He called this phenomenon prolifid and described it almost to a T before it was even a thing. Michael Jordan didn't retire to play baseball. He was given a two year suspension for gambling and they covered it up to protect their brand. Bread was invented by big bread corporations just to sell more bread. Bread sales have gone up since the invention of bread. You can't argue those numbers. You have been visited by the wisdom papa type study well papa or you will fail your next text at school. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check out another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.